Hey, welcome to my journey and to another weigh-in video. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> no ponytail. It's gone. I went to get my hair cut yesterday because y'all know when I first started this channel, I had short hair. I had short hair for years. And then when COVID hit, I just started letting it grow because I didn't go to get it cut. And then it just grew and grew and grew. And when it gets so long, I put it in a ponytail. I'm like, okay, what's in a ponytail? I'll just leave it in a ponytail. And then by yesterday, it was just so long and unruly because I have old hair. And it's like, it's not crunchy, but it's wiry. Y'all know what, how, when we, our hair gets older, how it, it gets. It's not that nice, soft, shiny, bouncy stuff it used to be. Like when the wind blows it, it doesn't just flow. It just goes, Phew. <laughs> I've been out in the wind today. I don't know. I've been out in the wind today. So I told her, and she's cut my hair for years. She goes, well, you know, I can always take off more, but I can't put it back. So we started just a little bit, like a little bob. I'm like, mm -mm 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 -mm. and then a little bit where I could tuck it behind my ear and just a little bit right there. I'm, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, mm -mm -mm. get rid of it. She says, you sure? I'm like, I'm sure. So she got out her little shaver and said, bzz, bzz, bzz. and then the rest of it, she did a razor cut. She's never razor cut my hair before. So I like it. I do. I like it. David likes it. I, I feel good. When I took my shower this morning, I was trying to reach back there and squeeze the water out of my hair. And it wasn't there. <laughs> but it feels good. The reason why I decided to keep it short instead of keep wearing ponytails is because I'm losing so much hair. Every time, and I use the soft scrunchies, not the little elastics, the soft scrunchies. Every time I would take it out, and I would take it out gently, I would have a handful of hair wrapped around that scrunchie. And I'm like, I told David, I said, I just can't afford to lose any more hair because you see, I'm practically bald on the top as it is. So that's why I said, nah. We're going to get it to where I don't have to wear a ponytail and lose any more hair than I need to. I'm sure whatever's going to fall out is going to fall. Ooh, oh, look. Those were in some Happy Mail. Ain't they cute? Ain't they cute? Mm -hmm. But, hmm. That's right. I was like, well, what are we going to talk about? Then it dawned on me. We're here for weigh-in. Well, let me just tell you this. I gained. And I can tell you why I gained. Because... My left leg has decided to blow up on me. I was this close to graduating wound care two weeks ago. When I went, they were like, okay, next week's probably going to be, and it's going to be gone. Because there was just a, I mean, just a tad little bit left. Between that and then last week's visit, more spots opened up, started draining. Okay. So I go in last week. I'm like, well. More spots have opened up. So, I'm coming back this week, as in today, to check on those spots. Well, between last week and this week, a big spot opened up and some small ones. And it's draining to beat the band. So, there was a blister on there the size of a penny. I could feel it. And my skin is so um, thin down there where it's been broken for so long. And... It's just, I guess the path of least resistance is that thin um, skin. So I um, went ahead and made a whole month of visits on Thursday. I know where I have been every Thursday since December the 8th. I have been at wound care every Thursday since December the 8th. No joke. And I don't see any time soon getting out of it. It's moving like where, where it was on my leg. Is all healed up. It's scarred and everything. It looks, you know, terrible. It's pitted, but it's healed. And then it goes down here a little bit, and then that's starting to heal. And then it moves down here. The doctor, he said, well, as long as don't go around the back of your leg and meet back around to the front. I said, well, that's where it's headed. It's going all the way down the side of my leg, and it's headed towards the back of my leg. So, I don't know when I'm ever going to be done with that, but I can tell you this, my leg is big and it just decided to just, I mean, that's lymphedema. That's just the nature of lymphedema. It's going to 
swell. You, you can't help it. I'm, I'm always going to have it, you know. And they have me supposedly getting a call for a pump. I told them today, you know, they still hadn't called me. So I'm still waiting on them to call me to get a, a pump. It's a, a thing that you, you wrap or you pull, pull up on your legs. And it's like those things at the hospital that like compresses and the air and it starts down at your feet and it goes and it goes from bottom to the top because that's the way you're supposed to go with lipedema from the bottom to the top mm -hmm. and they just haven't called but let me tell you I had this thing on the bottom of my foot close to my heel and I've been thinking it was a stone bruise and it, it just ain't getting no better Hold on just a okay. second. It just ain't, hadn't been getting no better. And so I told that nurse today, I said, I said, I think I got a stone bruise or something on my foot. So she come over and looked and she felt it. She got the light on it. She looked and she goes, well, there's a callus. I don't know. She said, it, you know, sometimes this and sometimes that. Well, I didn't think no more about it. And then when the doctor came in, she had told him. And so he got to looking at it. Well, he got that little debridement tool, the little scraper, because he had to do that on my wound. Uh, that's how bad it opened back up. Now we got to go back and start doing that debridement, getting all that dead skin off. And he starts scraping that callus. Well, he's scraping it, and I'm fine. And then he, he kind of hits the spot. I'm like, you know, he goes, okay, scrape, scrape, scrape. You tell me if I'm hurting you. I'm like, well, you'll know because <laughs> I, I wince up, right? And so he hit it, and he was doing it. It was feeling fine, and he, he pressed down. He hit something. I'm like, oh, and I, I mean, I jerked my leg back because it was painful, and I put it back down there, and he got to it, and he told the nurse, he said, come here. He goes, you see that? He said, there's something white. He said, I can't really tell what it is, so he scraped it. It hurt. He scraped it, and then he, he starts pushing on it. He said, can you feel that? Because I told him um, when he started, I said, no, you're doing fine. I said, when you push on it, that's when it hurts. So he, he, he did this. He said, you feel that? I said, no. He goes, you don't feel that? I said, no. So he down on the bottom of my um, leg, he said, I'm pushing it that hard. I'm like, seriously? He goes, yes. I'm like, well, whatever it was, you got it. He said, I don't know. He said, it could have been a piece of gravel that got under there and, you know, calloused over a piece of sand. He said, who knows? But he said, well, we healed one thing today. So <laughs> he said, my job is done. I'm going home. <laughs> but I'm like, I didn't think that they would do anything like that, but that's kind of like a wound. So they would know all these things about your skin and and things that your skin does. And so I'm glad I happened to remember because it's like it's not even there. Like it's not even there. So, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, I didn't mean to swallow so loud. So I left there, got through, and while I was out, I wanted to check the VV for magazines because I'm low on magazines. Well, I'm, I'm done with all the magazines I got because um, I don't want to go through them within a day by the time I get them. And you know, the VV is my main go-to for magazines. So I get up there and they didn't have anything again, but they had some Halloween issues of different magazines and big Halloween across the Halloween. I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to get those. And they had some creepy baby dolls magazines. I'm like, well, I'm going to get them for Halloween. And um, I picked up a couple of other things. So I get to the front. It's my little cash register girl that, that's always been there. And she got to know. She goes, now you know, these are no longer 25 cents. She goes, they're 99 cents. And she showed me her little list up there. She goes, everything go up. Everything go up. I'm like, so that magazines are 99 cents. She goes, yes. I'm like, well, I don't want any of them. I'm not paying 99 cents for a stack of magazines, 99 cents a piece. It's just not. So I don't, I guess magazines won't be a part of my junk journal anymore because I refuse to pay 99 cents for an old magazine. I'll not do it unless I find any at Wanda's. And she doesn't get them that often. Um, so I'm just out of luck on the magazines. And that bums me out to no end. I mean, it bums me out because I love first of all you know I love to cut I love to cut stuff out of magazines and I love to put magazine stuff in my junk journals 
that's the bulk of it. It's stuff I find in magazines. I love decorating my junk journals with magazine pictures and articles and this and that. So, yeah, I am but uh um But I just have to figure out some other way to do my junk ones. I did want to show you this. I showed you on my live. Speaking of live, as long as everything goes as it should plans, we'll be live tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We've been having fun just doing some girl talk. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that. We don't really talk about weight loss and diet. I mean, if you want to, we will. If you ask a question, we'll talk about it. But we just shoot the breeze about this stuff. We, we just talk about stuff. I do say come with questions because I, I'm always sometimes like a deer caught in the headlights, not really knowing what to say. So y'all bring questions. Ask, you can ask me anything now. Whether I answer it is another question. <laughs> but some people have asked me some things. You know, so I'll be tomorrow at one. I also have a, another chat and haul coming up. I went shopping again, but you know, most of it wasn't for me. It's for the kids' Easter baskets. You see some of the cool stuff they got out for Easter. So if you're doing Easter baskets, watch tomorrow. You can see some of the cool things that I found. But that'll be up in the morning. And then, um, Oh, I got to remind myself to do something. We cut our internet back. We had a gig and we cut it back to, I don't know, 500, I don't know, whatever. Save some money. Mm -mm, it's going right back where it was because uploading videos, I tried to upload two since changing. The first one says it's going to be an hour and 45 minutes. The second one I did this morning for tomorrow, hour and 45 minutes. So if I take it in yonder, and set it close to the, the router, then it'll upload faster. But the thing is, before, I could sit back here, still surf the net, make my thumbnail, do other things while it's uploading. This one wouldn't even upload and let me surf the net at the same time, so it's going back. I can't help it. I, I can't do that. We'll, we'll just have to save money somewhere else. So I got to remember to call them. But what I was going to show you was, if you watch my, and I showed it on live, and a couple people have, commented on it so i know they weren't able to see the live because everybody's not able to everybody don't want to really you know but if you saw that one haul where i, I bought that beautiful butterfly gift bag and i said I, i'm i'm seeing some kind of junk journal cover here it is i took it and i cut it and i folded it and mod podged it together sewed in my little signatures. There's my little my little handle. Here's my, my little tassel. See all the colors that match so good. That's why you got to have all the colors of the um, books. But this one is going to be it's not going to be a junky junk journal. It's going to be this kind of journal. So I cut out um, the same size of like that's just a, a page of stickers i just put it in there as a page so i put all these colorful mostly pa oh look that um was a diamond painting sent to me in happy mail and so i got the pastel type colors like there i just it's gonna be this kind of book and um I started a, I just want to show you that's how I made my cover out of the um, gift bag. I thought it turned out beautiful. And I, I think it's going to be so pretty on the inside when I get the, uh, there's a, a nice butterfly page. When I get the pages all decorated. So I'm excited about that. But I wanted a junk, a trashy junk journal to work on while I'm working on that one. Because that's like a pretty one. Like I do in my other things. Just a bigger size. So, the past couple days, I've been making this. Now, I, I do not have my tassel yet. So, but check it out. I am so sorry. I do not remember who said. How cool would it be to have a Lucky Charms? Because, you know, I use my cereal boxes from Halloween. That's what I've been using. I've got two left. They're like, well, how cool would it be to have a Lucky Charms and then have Somewhere Over the Rainbow printed for your inside cover? Well, I tried to print it on some other kind of paper, but it just wouldn't feed through. So, Somewhere Over the Rainbow 
And then I also found sheet music for the Rolling Stones. She's a rainbow. And I put that in the back. But this is just your typical, going to be a trashy, trashy junk journal, whatever you want to call it. But I put this um, two little grommets there so I can tie the thing shut when I'm not working on it. So I wanted some new magazines because I have a new book to work on. But alas, it was not meant to be. I will have to think of something else. But um, oh, I want to tell you this too. Those Power Crunch bars, the protein bars, oh, so good. I thought there was five in the ones that I bought on the grocery haul, the strawberries, strawberries and cream maybe. There's four. So the some boxes have five and some boxes have four. The ones with four, it's the same size box, but the bars are bigger. So that's why you got more calories and stuff. But, oh my gosh, that was one of the ones that was suggested Um by the nutritionist and boy it is so good it's lightly covered i don't know if it's white chocolate i don't really know but they're like the sugar wafer cookies you know with the little sugar wafers and the cream in between the sugar wafers that's what they're made like they're very light airy they almost break apart when you eat them they're, they're very they're textured just like a sugar wafer and they don't have very much of a protein aftertaste whatsoever. They're delicious. You, you, you have to be careful that you're not going to eat them like a cookie because they're just that good. They're a nice um, treat where you feel like you're having something you're not supposed to be having. So I am excited to have found those. And I've been watching TikTok. And ever since I... Um, it, it's like YouTube. You like things, and then more of those kind of things show up on your, your page, your, your For You page. So it's like Joan was saying in her video, when you interact with us, that's when our videos get shared. So when you like it, you give it, you know, the thumbs up, you comment, all those things tells YouTube that, Okay, whatever they did in that video, it was enough to cause some interaction from their viewers. And so that must be a cool video. Let's um, suggest it. So that helps us get out there. Um, but the things that you like, more of those things will show up on your page, your homepage for YouTube too. So it does for Facebook. Um, well, Facebook, anything you look at on Google shows up on Facebook. Y'all know that. If you think it, there it is on Facebook. <laughs> but I have been running across these women who have lost, you know, 100 and some, 200 pounds. And they're saying all these things that they eat and, and make the protein puddings. And um, somebody was making some pizza chips today with like little triangles of cheese with some little mini pepperonis on them and bake them in the oven. And so this all kind of little things that I'm learning. Now, I have, I have been contemplating, which I don't think I can do it, because I still have the, um, and you know, I told you, there ain't no pouch reset. It's a mindset reset, and we did our motivation on Monday, Monday, and that was a, a big eye-opener, and it made me know what I need to do, but I'm, I'm still got this hunger going on. I went back and I have looked at what I ate on my pre-op diet because, you know, I lost really good then. But I'm thinking if I tried to eat more like that, have more protein shakes, um, would that help me? Well, with my leg, it's hard to say if I'm going to lose or gain. It just really is. But I'm like, would it reset my mind of you're supposed to eat these smaller amounts of food, you know, several times during the day and get in your protein and not your carb blah 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 I don't know I don't really want to do it <laughs> so I probably won't but it was very interesting to go back and look and see what all I, I had eaten or should I say not eaten but I think I will do what she said um I've not incorporated uh, a protein supplement every day like she said the shakes or the protein bars 
I have those protein bars. I have the built bars and I have the power crunch, but I don't eat one every day. She says to incorporate that. So I guess I should drink a shake every day or, and I, I did watch the one video where, um, cause I told y'all, you know, if I was hungry that day, I told y'all it was a hungry day. And one of those videos, I was just like, I'm, I'm hungry today. I'm just hungry. I, I had had to have a protein shake for breakfast every day and I said I just wanted something to chew I just wanted to chew some food for breakfast instead of drinking it and I can I can tell you I, I I'm feeling you girl <laughs> so it was interesting looking back at those videos um yet how I was feeling at the time and stuff like that so I guess if I don't do that again, because I really was hungry. I didn't hardly have anything to eat. I was really hungry. So I don't really want to go back to that. But if I think, okay, for that two weeks, you were hungry, but you made it and you stuck with it because you knew you had to. So that's what I've got to do now. If, if you were hungry then, what you're eating now, you shouldn't be hungry. So let's, Let's um, analyze this hunger thing. Are you hungry or you just want to eat? And I'm thinking my problem is I just want to eat. I just want to taste food and eat food. I, I just want it. I just want food. It really don't have anything to do with being physically hungry. But anyway, I don't know how we get on that subject. Mm. Talking about the power crunch. But they're good. They're expensive. So like at Walmart, seven dollars or something for well, the one I got was four bars, and then like I said, some of them are five bars. But if you you're just supplementing um, with them, I guess they're comparative to the price of some other ones, and they were recommended by the nutritionist. So I feel good about it. Um, I thought let's um let's look at our little book because I'm thinking I can't think of anything else. Um, really nothing else has happened and if it has I need to save it till tomorrow or I won't have nothing to talk about let's look at our little book our little believe and succeed book I found this oh look it was originally bought at Village Fudge for $6.99 that, that is old because Village Fudge was uptown years ago but you remember we did it one time before we just opened the book and said well we'll read what's on that page and talk about it it's nervous when you don't know what you're going to open it to i've not read the book i don't even know what i was in it i thumbed through it you know when i got it i'm like oh that's something i can use in my junk journals and i realized well that's something we can use here to talk about like i used to my little um cards that i had so let's just When you reach your goals, when every effort has paid off and all your work has been rewarded, it goes dot, 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 so we got to turn the page. It's time to celebrate when you look back to see how far you've come and how much you've accomplished. When you feel so good inside to know you didn't quit, <laughs> that you were determined to succeed and you did. The fun of having a dream come true is feeling good about yourself and being rewarded for your best efforts. Barbara J. Hall. O-M-G. Did we need to hear that? I'm thinking we did. I'm going to go back to it in a minute. Let me get that second page. When you look back to see how far you've come and how much you've accomplished, when you feel so good inside to know you didn't quit. Oh my gosh, y'all. Did we not say on Monday we was talking about that? When a year from now, when we look back, what, what what's going to be when we look back? Will we have done everything that we wanted to do in that previous year? Does that not tie right in oh my gosh that I kind of got the little bit of chills thinking about that how that tied right into it 
Yes, it is time to celebrate when you reach your goal. N not necessarily a number, which that's a, a big thing. If you have a number you want to reach, when you reach that number, it's time to celebrate. And when you reach a goal of maybe uh, a lower A1C, I met that goal. It was time to celebrate. I got to come off my diabetes meds. That's time to celebrate. So when you reach your cholesterol numbers, and you look back and you didn't quit doing what it took to do to get your labs where your labs need to be. To get your weight to a number that you want it to be. Don't um, think that we don't have a number. I don't necessarily have a number. Um, I want to get to 175. That's my first goal is 175. And then I'll decide how I feel from there. If I want to go on or if I just want to try to maintain. Because... It's not about a number for me. It's about, you know, how I'm going to feel. Well, the number is for surgery, but 175 is way, way beyond. I will have had surgery way before then. But definitely, when we look back, when, listen, oh my gosh. Give me some motivation with you, little Believe and Succeed book. Because I want to do what I'm supposed to do. And I want to look back and say I didn't quit. And I did the right things. And now let's celebrate. Let's don't celebrate with some little Debbies. <laughs> That's the old celebration. It's the little Debbie cake. Listen, y'all know what I want to do. I want to go to the bread store so bad. But I don't need the bread. And they will have cakes. They got tasty cakes up in there. They got little cakes um, little pies, little dessert things, and they run that stuff cheap. Oh my gosh, they run them boxes of tasty cakes cheap, 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 cheap. Donuts, the like the sweet 16 donuts. I don't know if they make sweet 16 anymore, but they do make the, the other brands, whatever. Oh my gosh. And the bread, you, know, you just walk in and you smell it. You just want all the bread. And I, I, I'm not supposed to be eating all the bread. But I'm just like, I want to go. I keep making myself not go. That's something to celebrate. That's something to look back on and say, you know that day when you were riding by, you made that turn to come home instead of going straight where you could get up to that store. That's something to celebrate. So they, these are the little things that, um, we did when, when we didn't quit, y'all. We, we're not quitting, so that ties in perfectly to Monday. I like that, I like how that worked. Well, my goodness, I think that's all I know today. This is probably a short video because I don't feel like I've been very long winded, I don't know much else to talk about. I think we covered everything I need to co <laughs> I need to cover. I am going to go over here and work on this craft when I get my clothes changed. This dress is so big on me, but I declare I'm going to get the use out of it. It was a thrift store dress, like three or four bucks. I don't know. But it's just easier when I go to wound care for them to get to my leg. Um, but there was this lamp. Be, like if you stand it up, it'd probably come waist high or, or hip high and there's no um lampshade on it it's like gold on the bottom it's kind of jacked up a little bit and then a glass cut glass thing that looks like a base and it looks like a big long candlestick sitting in it and it just uses a light bulb and i'm like if it holly didn't want it it was left down there you know at the house with some other stuff and she didn't want it so whenever she gave me stuff to go take the donate it was in the car i'm like i think i can do something with that and i know where i'm gonna put it so when i was at the vv this morning i found this little lampshade that i think is going to work perfectly because i just want it looking like a tall candlestick with just a little small lampshade on it and i didn't know the Thing worked. I haven't plugged it in or not. So I come in. When I come in, I drug it up here with me, plugged it in, and it works. So I think that's what I'm going to work on when I change. I'm going to, I was going to spray paint it, but I think I might just paint it with chalk paint. I think. I think. And I can't decide what color. So 
maybe I will just paint with chalk paint and be done with it. Because if I need to seal it, I can seal it with um, Mod Podge. But anyway, so as far as my weighing goes, I'll tell you. No, knowing I don't even know what I'll do next week. If my leg don't go down, I don't even I don't even want to give you a monthly total because it just it won't be right. It'll be just like the whole rest of my journey. Swelling, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. And it, it gets old. It just gets old. And I hate coming on here and saying, Oh, I had gastric bypass and I ain't losing jack squat. It's embarrassing. It is. So you know my best friend, he should say, no embarrassment. That was one of his sayings. No embarrassment. He didn't get embarrassed. There is nothing you can do to that man <laughs> that would embarrass him. <laughs> he, he would show out when he had to. Uh, he was funny. No. No, no embarrassment. That was his. That was one of his mottos. No embarrassment. So it just is what it is. I'm doing the best I can do. And that's all I. That's all I can offer you. Is the best I can do. So. I'm going to hush up the talking, and I hope you can tune in tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern Time to see um, what we talk about on live, just to see what we get into. I look forward to seeing you. All right. Bye, Dale.